Hi guys, it's Sid and welcome back. I also got a lemon. Happy Sunday, you guys. Recently, Sundays have become like one of my favorite days. I think I just love the resetting, like relaxing part of Sundays. I've been trying to really use my Sundays to be a good reset day for me. I feel like it's like the one day in the week where I try to just not do anything and really get prepared for my week. So today I have some things going on. I've been trying to really like reset, res what? I've been trying to establish a routine for my Sundays and like kind of have some go-to things that I do. I usually go grocery shopping on Sundays. I've been trying to like deep clean. I'm also going to Pilates class in a little bit, which is fun. Also, I won this at a crane the other day. This little banana thing. Isn't it so cute? I'm so obsessed with it, it's so cute. Okay, anyways, we're first gonna go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna pick up a few things. Let's go, it's also hot as Sorry, I shouldn't swear. So I just got back from Trader Joe's and I got all of my groceries. I wanted to quickly show you guys what I got because, um, I don't know, I just want to. I have my Pilates class in 30 minutes so I kind of have to do this quickly. Also, I love this energy drink by Alani. Thank you guys for sending this to me. I drink this every day. I really didn't get that much stuff because as we know, I eat out a lot, but I got the ingredients to make the chipotle bowls. I made them like a few vlogs ago and they're so good and they're so easy. So I got chicken. I also got a couple avocados for the guac. I got onion for the guac and a lime for the guac. Tomato. I also had a lemon because lemonade or water in the mornings tastes so much better. And it's just like a fun way to spice up water. I got these, like honestly, I feel like I have a love-hate relationship because they're really good, but they're very spicy. Some people might think they're not spicy, but I have no spice tolerance. Last two things, I got this chicken Caesar salad, just super easy to like throw together. This is like my favorite drink. I don't know if I've talked about this. It's the sparkling pink lemonade. It's so good. I'll just put this over ice. I am obsessed with it. Just try it. It's so good. Anyways, um, I'm gonna throw this in the fridge really quickly and then I think I'm gonna get dressed because I have to get ready for the Pilates class. I'm honestly like kind of nervous for it because I'm so, so out of shape. Let's just hope for the best. The guy at the checkout line, the cashier was like telling me about his Pilates experience and he's like, you can do this. So thank you. All right, let's go. No, I really don't work out that often. Workout classes are definitely like the most fun way of working out from my experience. I found this place near me that looked really fun. I did make sure that this was a beginner's class before I signed up. At least it's supposed to be. Oh my god, imagine I like go in there and everyone's like ripped and like really strong. <laughs> Even though I do like workout classes, I get kind of like insecure or like nervous because I always feel like I'm like the weak link because I usually am. But also you have to remind yourself like no one's actually watching you. They're like focusing on themselves. This is a new workout set that I got from this brand called Story. It's so comfy. I love like the blue color. Oh my God, I'm gonna be on wiki feet again. Also eating this right now really quick. A perfect bar because you have to eat it before you work out. Okay guys, I survived. That was actually so much more fun than I expected it would be. Mainly because I really liked the instructor. I feel like the instructor that you have makes a big difference. And it was a really good workout. Like my arm holding my vlog camera right now hurts. Working out can actually be fun. Like this just reminded me that I feel like working out like benefits me more mentally than even physically. I drove down the street to this smoothie place that I've never been to. I've heard it's really good. So I'm gonna grab a smoothie. I feel like I'm not trying so many new things today. Like new Pilates place, new smoothie place. I also always see people from school here. Like, you know, like those places where like everyone from school goes, like this, the circle, which is where I am. That's like where everyone is. I don't know if 
the smoothie tastes so good because I just like worked out. I love this because it has cocoa nibs in it. I used to get something like this like five years ago at my gym, but I got the smoothie. It has peanut butter, I think almond milk, cocoa nibs, banana. It's so good. Today is a good day. I'm back home now. Sundays is usually the day that I do laundry. I also, every couple weeks, like to deep clean my room. Basically, I just like to mop, really wipe things down. I also wanna make sure my room is clean because my friend Rachel, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know, is coming in a few days. So I am like in desperate need to do this deep clean. It's actually been quite a while. how dirty my floors are till I see the bottom of my Swiffer. Ew. that I feel like a lot of you type A people might like is making a kind of like a weekly schedule. And I'm not talking like in my calendar because I already have that, but I like to kind of just take my week at a glance and I go into Canva. I pick out this template and it kind of just lays out my goals for the week. And then I also put down the biggest things I have for each day. Like I said, I don't put everything in here for sure, but I do put like the major big things I have to do this week and like big focuses. So I have a couple meetings. I have a big presentation that I need to focus on. Some extra things to do here, some reminders. If you get anxiety about like your schedule, I really recommend that because I definitely feel like I have a lot going on in my life and I kind of need something to like reference throughout the week. Also, do you guys like my Band-Aid? It's the Incredibles. Oops, I don't mean to flip you off. Oh my God. Do you guys want to see the saddest thing? Like, why am I like crying? My tripod broke and like it literally is like a two pod now. What happened? Like, I don't know what happened. It just, this like fell off. Okay, I'm over it. Um, I'm hungry. So let's go make some dinner. I've made this recipe before. It was actually just a couple vlogs ago, so I'm not really gonna like go into detail since I just did that. But basically, I'm just putting together a little chipotle bowl with like rice, some chicken, and then guacamole that I make. I have this fear of undercooking chicken because I don't wanna accidentally not cook it all the way through and then get food poisoning. It's just like a fear that I have. So I like overcook it sometimes. Like this is actually so burnt. I'm trying to be better guys. What if one day you guys like came on my YouTube channel and was like completely rebranded and it was like cooking, like a cooking channel. Like I just like changed my brand to be like, like Food Network. I'm like the least qualified person to do that. So that won't happen, don't worry. It's so good. So I had the urge to paint. You know, I am not a good painter. I'm just gonna start there. I think I first got into painting kind of during like COVID when there wasn't like really much to do. 90% of the time I end up throwing them away because they look so bad. <laughs> you know, one out of the 10 I do like turn out okay. I think I wanna do, I saw on TikTok this like sunset thing with a lake. Guys, remember when I said I wasn't good at painting? I'm gonna show you guys what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to do, okay? It said it was easy and it wasn't. It's bad. I kind of gave up, honestly. Like it just was not looking good. My brush, I think it was too thick because I couldn't like 
get the details and the trees and stuff or I just suck. Maybe I'm just like making excuses. This is one of those that I throw away and never usually would see the light of day, but because I'm vlogging it, it is. It was fun. No, I actually like do get frustrated though. Like when they like look so bad after I'm like, dude, whatever. I guess it's like part of the fun process. And here we are again, no outro, I'm sorry, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in my video next Sunday. Bye guys.